There is no doubt in my mind that what the government is doing is going to destroy the economy and destroy the currency. Absolutely none whatsoever. And I am 100% convinced that anybody who has their wealth in U.S. dollars will be just as broke as the people who have their money with Madoff. It's not going to matter. It is going to be destroyed. And I don't know how much time you have. You know, with the dollar dropping 5% a week at this point, I don't know. Could the dollar snap back a little bit? Sure, of course. But what if it keeps falling? What if it's down 5% next week and 5% the week after that? And then what if it drops 10% and another 10%? Who knows? You know, at some point, a year or two from now, the dollar could be dropping 5% a day. You know, the, the inflation rate in Zimbabwe is over 100 million percent per year. I can't even calculate what that is. But you know what? It didn't start off that bad. It didn't start off that bad. It happened as a result of the monetary policy that we are now pursuing. Now, are we gonna are we gonna get religion? Are, are we gonna change course? Are we not gonna follow uh, the Zimbabwe monetary policy completely? Are we gonna change course? I don't know. But you know what? The longer it takes for us to change course, the harder it is to make the change. Right? The, the deeper into debt we go, the more money the Fed prints, the harder it is to pull that inflation genie back in the bottle. Because the reason that the politicians are doing this is because they don't want to face the pain. They don't want to deal with reality. Well, the more they do this, the more painful reality becomes. So if they can't deal with the pain today, why would they deal with twice as much pain in the future? That is the flaw. It's in thinking that, well, they're just going to do something later on to stop it. They're not. If they really have the guts to do it, they do it right now. So this is extremely, extremely dangerous. And, and you know, if anybody had doubted what I've been saying in the past, I don't see how you can do it now, looking at what they've done. And, you know, as I've said, I said the dollar would fall sharply, and it has. It is, it is dropping like a stone. And the people who bought into this dollar rally bought into a pack of lies. You know, and I talked about the fact that there was no fundamental justification. People were saying nonsense like, well, we're the first to enter the crisis, we're going to be the first out. Uh, we're the ones that are taking the most aggressive actions, therefore our economy is going to do the best. That the dollar is rising because as bad as things are here, they're so much worse every place else. It's all nonsense. None of it was true. There was no fundamental reason for the dollar to go up. It was pure trading. It was deleveraging. It was speculation. It was momentum. None of it had anything to do with the fundamentals for the U.S. economy. If it did, the dollar would have been falling, not rising. Those short-term props are gone. The dollar is now sinking on its own weight, and it's going to drop like a stone. And, you know, there's not a lot of time. You know, as far as foreign stocks right now, look, interest rates are being slashed around the world. Stocks are the only place to be. you got to own real stuff. You can't own paper.